Well, we were going to get some work done this morning, but as you guys can tell in here, I don't know how well that's going to work out. Kind of a bummer, because I wanted to get to work this morning early. Not super early, but early enough. And I'm not working in this. That ain't going to happen. Well, it says it should pass. It says by like 9 o'clock or so, like for another hour. Yeah, and then the ground's going to be super muddy. Yeah. And really bad. But... I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to rain like this. Oh, I'm... there's been thunder and lightning and everything all morning. Yeah. It was really, so... really pouring here. Yeah. The so rain pouring so much that the rain was going over the gutters. <laughs> yeah, it was overflowing the gutters. Yeah, so much rain. Just so much rain all at once. You know? That's what happens around here, though. It's all right. It's okay. I mean. So I, sorry for the noise, guys, but. I will say, um, yesterday I did come out and throw some clover seeds, so I'm really glad I got that done before it rained today. Hopefully they don't all wash away. I don't think the... Um, you know, I'm like over here. I know. I mean, now that we got the gutters, that should help with like the runoff this way. But we still have it on Thunder. We don't have them on Thunderdome yet. So like that little area right in front of the deck. Yeah, just the, getting washed. the walkway. Yeah, it's just getting washed away. I'm sure. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. That's all right. That's okay. It is what it is. All the dogs and everybody are up here hanging out. Yeah. As you guys can see. <laughs> Lillian refuses to come out. Yeah, it's probably really loud on here, too. Oh, yeah. It's very loud. That's the bad thing, I guess, about having a tin roof, right? Well, especially, like, on the deck, because at least in the house, we have the insulation and... I know, I'm gonna go inside because it is way yeah, too loud. I mean, it's very loud. I mean, I can I can barely hear Roxanne. It's almost like it's hailing or something. No, it's not hailing. It's just big fat drops, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Ugh, it's a little quieter. What a difference, huh? Oh, I just heard some thunder, too. Yeah, what a difference. So I guess we're doing the vibe right now in here, guys. So welcome back to the Daily Vibe. Yeah, sorry, guys. But... <laughs> it's just so loud. Yeah. Crazy weather we're having. We are having some crazy weather. Well, it's going to be almost spring. True. Like, it's so... I mean... We knew that's coming, so... Is it April shower for you made flowers? Yes, you is what they say. Shutting this door. Why is home sick? Yes, um, so. I will say, I think um, yesterday he came home from school and he was tired and he said his tummy didn't feel very good, so. Yep, so he stayed home today. Yeah, so I keep him home. He went to, I mean, he fell asleep at like 6, six o'clock last night. Yeah, Usually he doesn't go to bed until 9. Yeah, and he didn't even, I mean, I woke up, I went in there to go wake him up and just say, hey, dinner's done if you want to come eat. He said Yeah, no. he was out. He was sleeping. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't wake up mainly until this morning. And, uh, you know, if he says he's not feeling good, we'll, we'll have him go to school. And then it's already happened before in like an hour. Yeah. The nurse is calling saying Wyatt's in the nursing office and he wants to know if you can come pick him up. Yeah. So we're like... We might as well just keep him home because I guarantee, <laughs> guarantee, like right now he'll be we'll get be getting a call. We will have to drive all the way into town. Yeah, you can get him to go get him. So, so might as well avoid all of that fiasco. Yeah, kind of a thing. Yeah, and just keep him home. Just and, keep him home today. I mean, obviously he doesn't feel well because that's not typical normal Wyatt behavior. You no. Know? We'll get it start stop raining, I think. Yeah, it is crazy. So quick that happens. It goes from pouring to you can't even hear. Yeah, to just no. barely anything. <laughs> that quick. <laughs> well, good, good, good. So I haven't been able to check on the bunnies yet this morning. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they are. Um, last time I checked on them, as you guys seen, they're getting so big, and I know. <laughs> I've been seeing some of the comments, don't get attached. Don't get attached to them. You know, you got, you're not keeping them. 100% true. 
this i hope i can't say it for all of them but we're hoping um all these first five maybe they go to somebody that need them yeah rather than into the freezer kind of a thing because yeah. it is it is rough you guys know any like you said any animal baby i don't care what it is for the most part right spiders don't count they're you know you know what i mean <laughs> any babies that are animals they're all so cute you can't help it yeah you can't help just thinking they're so cute you know they're gonna be fluffy forever and blah 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 yeah stay that little you know and it's not the case as you guys know but <laughs> yeah i don't want to get attached to them no so but this is the first time so of course i'm gonna be a little attached yeah guys. yeah it's kind of like the baby <laughs> chicks you know uh, oh yeah last year you know when they were first born and like you just said part of it's because you know it's we did it you know what i mean we didn't go to the the pet store and buy bunnies you know yeah exactly we bred them and <clears throat> you know so i am a little attached a little bit but I, like i said before you know uh animals they all have a purpose yeah whether it be a companion like lillian yeah well, she don't do nothing besides love you. That's all. That's her job, yeah. is to be hanging out and loved. Yeah. Following me around. Right. And so that's a purpose, yeah. right, <laughs> for her. Our bigger dogs, their purpose is to scare all the other wild animals away, which they do a very good job at, even though they're in the dog run. They bark and, right? Yeah. And then rabbits and chickens, they got their purpose too. So doesn't mean they're not cute, though. <laughs> they're very cute. It all is what them. it is. I think that's one of the main reasons, personally, and my, I've talked to Roxanne about this. I said, back in the day, like, you know, before I was alive, but all throughout, you know, mankind, if you look at the stuff, different things, like, people have been eating rabbits forever. Oh, yeah. Um, goats, you know, sheep, stuff like that. People still do nowadays, yeah. you know. But, uh, like, a majority, at least in America, right, in the United States, um, a lot of people don't, like, eat rabbit anymore. No, it's, it's not a normal thing yeah, anymore. It's beef, pork, and chicken. Chicken. That's pretty much all the meat stuff people eat. Right. I mean, which pretty much covers all of it. Now there are a ton of people that do, right? There are. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, can buy it online, you know, ready to be cooked and stuff like that. But um, what I was trying to get at is, I th I think it's because they're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> people well, don't want to. Yeah, because I mean, think about it. You know right? what I'm saying? Like they're like, ah, oh, I feel too bad. I mean, I don't know of very many restaurants, and I'm sure there are restaurants out there, but you don't go to a restaurant and they have, you know, roasted rabbit. Or, yeah, rabbit stew. You know, um, yeah, fried rabbit with, you know, all these sides. With potatoes. Yeah. There is, I seen, I don't know where it's at, but I, I seen this one restaurant, um, I think it's in California. Don't quote me on it, but it, they, it's basically, the whole restaurant is like a game meat restaurant. So like they got like mutton, yeah. believe it or not, in there. They got rabbit, they got quail, they got uh, venison, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's not like it's it's not like impossible. Nobody does it anymore, but it's so rare now. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting at. It's like you know, you don't go. You know, there's certain. I know there's restaurants out there that serve it, but it's not a common thing where you go into a restaurant and you see rabbit on their menu. Yeah, I know. You know. Hey, and I'm sorry, but. Um, if you haven't had it, if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. Yeah, it's good. I don't know what to tell you. It's very, it's very, very good. It's not gamey at all. No. It's not. Um, it's just really good and it's all like lean meat, so. Yeah. You should try it sometime, guys, sure. if you've yeah. never tried it. Yeah. You can order it online, ready to be cooked. Yeah. Good stuff. Yep. I'm telling you. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have rabbit on the meal plan this week because we got one more rabbit left. Yeah, one of the ones that we, uh the last dispatching day yeah that's yeah. um yeah it's that one i think we ate the one tim brought us that first time when he brought the bunnies <clears throat> well yeah then we had the other two grow up we had two yeah and that's and I, one of those yeah that's what i'm talking i'm just saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I think we've eaten pretty much all the rabbit we had except for this last one it's just so good it is good <laughs> it's so yeah. good and I'm going to cook it a totally different way I've never cooked before. I mean, I've never cooked rabbit until just recently. So <laughs> any way I cook it, it's going to be different, but it'll be good. I do have a different recipe that I want to try. Totally random. I just see in the background, but we decided to buy a water, water dispenser. dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> totally random. It's mounted to the wall. Yeah. Came with like a little mounting bracket so it can't fall. It's supposed to be inside. This thing is meant to be inside, but we have nowhere to put it. Yeah, we tried to figure out a way yesterday. And, and it's only because of the, the refrigeration on it. Yeah. 
you know, because through summer, um, we'll be always running on. But anyway, we decided to get one. We used to use uh, bottled water the whole time since we've been here until basically we moved into the house for the most part. Yeah, well, because we, we got a, a refrigerator with water on it. Yeah. And uh, there's so much iron in our well water here. Yeah. Right? It's just how it is around this area. Everyone, everybody has iron. Oh, yeah. And we have been trying, just letting you guys know a little not beans or nothing, no spilling beans, but we have been trying for months. <laughs> months and months and months and months and months. Better part of over six months to get a sand filter here. Yeah. And no matter what we do, no matter how many times we call, it's like you cannot get people to commit and call you back and even show up when they say they're yeah, going to show up. It's one of those. It's I'll impossible. Be, yeah, it's it's just it's, 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 it's a type of situation where it's, I'll be there on Friday. Yeah, and then Friday comes. Yeah, and No phone happens. call. No nobody show. shows up. And you can't get a hold of them that, uh, for another week. Yeah. And then they say, oh, I'm sorry, I got super busy. I'll be there, uh, next I'll be Friday. there on Friday. Yeah. That's literally what has happened for like over six months. Yeah, and I'll just throw this out here because I'm sure people will comment and say, you know, we'll reach out to somebody else. It's really hard to find people <laughs> When you live in a smaller town, so it's, I mean. Or you can find other people. Like we found um, somebody else. I got some numbers from other people. Yeah. But they got to come from like over an hour away or hour and a half away. And the price difference is stupid. Yeah. So, I mean. So it's like. <laughs> so. I just I want to throw that out there. Cause... Yeah. There's not that many people to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure, we could probably figure it out and do it ourselves, but I've never done that. And I ain't trying to put a sand filter on our well by myself. I've never done that. Yeah, yeah. No, That's I like, don't... you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. No. Anyway, so <laughs> we've been trying to do that just so you guys know, to clean up all this iron in our water. And yeah. we can't get it clean. We can't get anybody to do it. So we said forget it for right now. Yeah, we're still going to keep trying. Yeah. Um, to get a sand I just, filter installed. But... I'm worried because we, we, we do have the three house filter system on the house. It's, well, it's a sediment filter and then two filters. And then on our refrigerator, we do have a filter in that. Mm -hmm. So basically the water that we use for cooking and drinking, it's gone through like four filters already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But there's still so much iron in the water. Like yeah. iron. Yeah, it's pretty, okay. it gets pretty. Um, so pretty... I'm scared we're getting too much iron in our bodies. I mean, it could be very possible, especially like for me, right? Like I, I drink a, a lot of water. Yeah. You know, I drink water almost, I mean, I drink it every day. Yeah, we drink water every day, but you you drink like I drink tons it, of water Yeah, a day. I drink it pretty much all day. That's my drink. I need to drink more water. Yeah, except for coffee in the morning. But the <laughs> rest of the day I'm drinking water pretty much. And it's not too expensive to fill that thing up. It's more expensive than when we first moved here. It's gone up, uh, which is crazy. It's like everything else in the world. Yeah. Every, I don't care what it is, prices on everything has gone skyrocket. And just you wait, guys, this whole fire in Texas that's going on right now, yeah. right? Just just go ahead and see how much beef is going to be real soon. Oh, yeah, because they were saying, I seen that on the news, that um, you know a lot of their hay fields got burned down. Oh, yeah. So they have actually like people from other states, communities from other states that are trucking in hay for them to feed their cattle and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And plus, you make a good point, too. Yeah. The price of beef's probably going mean, to Beef's already expensive. Yeah. And it's it going to go even up higher. It's probably. See, I didn't that's, even think of that. Yeah. And so on that little note, real quick, I just thought about this. So there's that's why you guys should check out the link below in this video. OK. Mm -hmm. Buy some American made stuff, including organic beef. Yeah. Yeah. They do offer Okay. That. So, all I gotta do is click that link, fill out the information. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, yeah. Somebody from our team is going to contact you guys. Yeah. I want to be very expressed on that. Yeah. It's more than just beef, but so if you get a random phone uh, phone number calling you after you do that, yeah. If you doesn't mean it's you know our team members calling. Still watch out for uh, scammers and stuff, guys. Okay. But somebody will contact you guys, and if the price of beef goes way up. Um, as far as I know, uh, the beef comes from Idaho. Um, don't, don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Idaho, this company, um, organic beef. So it's really good stuff, locally farmed beef. Um, go check that out because we're going to see it right now, dude. 
with this fire in Texas, they said there's thousands and thousands of cattle that have been killed. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, because... And all they, the hay and the, and the grass is burnt. Yeah, because, yeah, uh, um, you know, over there, there's so much ranch area and flat and just, you know, so I'm sure a lot of the cattle have gotten... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty uh, crazy fire over there. Um, I mean, I know they're getting it contained now, but there for a couple days, I mean, it was kind of out of control. I mean, they said it's the the biggest fire that we've ever had. So that's pretty scary. I wonder sometimes, here's the tin, the tin hat, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On this. I wonder if things like this sometimes, mind you, it's just a thought in my mind, is done on purpose. I know, that you know what's funny is- You know what I'm saying? I have not yet heard what caused the fire. Well, there's one lady I just seen on the news. She's the first person, she's um, filing a lawsuit against one of the electric companies over there. Oh. Saying that they weren't inspecting their, their power poles the way it should be and one snapped mm -hmm. and fell to the ground and she said she's seen it. I think, don't quote me, it's, I'm going off what the news says. Yeah. Um, and she's seen it start a fire. That it sparked and... Sparked a fire. Yeah. And so she's already filed a lawsuit. But I do wonder sometimes if they make these disasters like this, if they do it on purpose. I mean, it's it's so convenient at times when you think about things like this. Oh, well, Remember yeah. all the train derailments that I just happened too long ago? I was going to say that. What happened to all those train derailments? I mean, there was tons of them happening just back to back to back to back to back. And now all of a sudden there's none. Yeah. And, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, so... I don't so either. I know I'm just saying timing of things that happen, right? Yeah. If you think about it. Like, you had the whole Russia-Ukraine war. It's still going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, conveniently, when all kinds of other things about Ukraine was coming out. Just saying. And now all of a sudden, when that got hot and heavy, now all of a sudden there's the Gaza and Israel war. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about Ukraine no more. Uh, what else is coming up this November? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, right? <laughs> what, what's today? Yeah. What's today? Yeah, today's Super a, what? Yeah, today's So, and all day. this stuff is going on right when all these key moments of big things in the world's happening. It just makes you think, right? Yeah. And I'm not saying that's it's what's happening. No, it just... You just your... like, hmm. man, everything is so, con you know, uh, what a coincidence all the time. Yeah, and things like hmm. that just, I, to me, are all just coincidence. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And we're not saying it's it's not no, a coincidence, but, no, 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 but no, no, no. I'm it's just, just like, very funny that it... You know, it's kind of like, you know, um, <laughs> you get a little extra money, so you decide, hey, I'm going to go buy a new car. So you buy a new car, and you're paying on it for a couple months, well, then your new car breaks down. <laughs> you know, after you just spent, you know, you had the same car for 15 years, you know, and decide to buy a new one, and now the new one breaks down before your old one did. You know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm getting at. It's just weird how things work like it that. is you know it is i think some of this stuff's planned on purpose we'll never know <laughs> we'll never know the truth we'll never know the, the facts of it all we're, we just know what we're told so anyway mm -hmm. there's the tin foil hat for you guys today yeah, right. <laughs> i'm not a huge conspiracy theorist guy i am on certain things yeah i think everybody is well they just got to their, some extent yeah, their, their own opinions yeah your own opinions or beliefs you know what you think or whatever you know there's no right or wrong no you know we'll never know anyway guys yeah but anyway, it stopped raining, so that's a good Yay. thing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we do want to get some stuff done today. Um, we ended up going to town. We were in town yesterday a lot longer than uh, first anticipated. Yeah. And so, and then I came home, and yesterday was kind of a wash when it comes to getting things done around here. Yeah. We it got... was, but it wasn't. We did get a lot of stuff done, but nothing um, that we planned on getting done. No, we just decided to take care of some of the littler projects, you know. In yeah. a sense, like I spread seed and, you know, did some laundry and... <laughs> yeah, no, stuff like that, you so... You know, nothing crazy. <laughs> That's all right, though. Yeah, yeah. That's I still right. had some stuff done, so... But anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Yeah. On this super wonderful Tuesday. Super Tuesday, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, all I gotta say is I love our Supreme Court. I'll leave it at that, too. So, yeah. you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay motivated, guys, and we'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.